Hey yo, we're finally back with more Magician's Quest. Um, this is the 3DS one, and I definitely meant to cover the uh, January mystery, but um, Fudge was just being all weird and I eventually gave up on it. Um, so to make up for that, next month in March, I'm going to pretend it's like Magician's Quest March, and I'm going to try to upload somewhere between like 4 and 8 videos of it, uh, mostly of the mysteries from the first game. Anyways, uh, today I want to do some crafting stuff. Um, there's like a, there's the cooking, baking, um, there's the flower stuff, and the clothing, and then the jewelry, and I'm gonna try to do like one of each of those, uh, cause before I think I've only really showed the clothing, and I usually don't mess with the flower one, so, this will be interesting. Um, okay, so over here, um, this is like the one where you do pretty much everything that's not food related. And you can see based on what's in the background, so like the um, floral arrangement stuff, uh, the sewing and like clothes thing, and then the um, jewelry. And we talked to this little dude, all the recipes are on the same screen. Here, um, should I just go through all of them too while I'm here? Um, there we go, so that's just the default sewing one. Um, this is, well, crown stuff, um, and then this is earrings, necklace, this is the flower one, um, this is, like, enchanted clothing, which actually has effects, and actually, you know what, I think I'll make that one instead of the normal one, this is enchanted, um, I think it's, like, a charm or something, I actually haven't made this one, and then there's the jewelry box, and then flowers also, um, but for right now, we're just gonna do default flower arrangement. And like I said, I don't mess with it much, and yeah, I only needed one. Oh, you can actually access the storage from um, in here. Oh, I should have grabbed the magic um, stuff while I was. Okay, no, that's fine. There we go. And though I haven't messed with it much, I'm pretty sure it's relatively simple. Um, from what I remember, you just kind of trace the lines. Well, it's going to explain it to us anyways. The little cutscenes are so cute, though. <laughs> the flowers are kind of... Um, <laughs> they're just like in the flower pots. That's funny. Look at the candy one. Uh, you get those from um, Halloween, I believe. So basically just what the bottom screen is saying is what I just said, we kind of just trace the lines with our stylus. Hey, this kind of works for Valentine's Day, the roses and the, and the candy. Alright, that was pretty, pretty straightforward. That's cute. Um, and is that the last step? No, it's not. Oh, I can just straight up move them around? Why? I don't remember this step, as I'm sure is clear by my reaction. Uh oh, I'm not totally sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. Um, I mean, as long as it's like balanced, that's probably good. It has two exclamation marks, so that means it's okay. Alright. 
I don't think it was perfect because I was, <laughs> I was thrown off by the last step, but... There we go. So you can choose to name items you make. Um, but I just kind of uh, don't usually do that. Only if like I make like an outfit I really like or something, but otherwise I don't see any point to really name them. So that's nice. Um, next up, let's do the um, clothing. Oh yeah, but before we do that, um, on the menu you can check your spells. And um, there's certain ones. So we gotta check uh, the spells, and this is one of the ones that you can enchant your clothes with. Um, and I, you can't check it when you're doing the crafting thing. So you just have to either remember it or take a picture of it, and I'm choosing to take a picture of it. The clothing minigame is by far the easiest one out of all of them. And I have to grab the uh, magic powder stuff from here, because I forgot. Pattern there. Perfect, let's go. I'm gonna have to uh, cut some of these loading screens because some of them take a little bit too long. Alright. This is absolutely the easiest minigame. Um, the only hard part is remembering the spell when you get to it. Which, luckily, I took a picture of it. Anyways. Uh, the only things that matter here are accuracy and time. And you're supposed to stop it to turn on the corners. You're supposed to be like that, that. But um, I'm lazy and I don't. And it saves time, so it's okay. Uh, if you go off of the thing, um, it turns green. So as long as the stitches are like white, it means that they're counted. So even if you go a little bit offline, it doesn't always count as a mistake. So like even though I'm kind of messy on the curve, it's still counting it as perfect. Which is very convenient for us. Also, I just realized those are mushrooms. I thought this was like a galaxy thing. And in my defense, they're like a little bit, um, low res. <laughs> oh, that's a cute dress. I feel like I've made it before though, like maybe in another video, that exact one. Um, if you're always combining the same fabric and the same pattern, you get the same result. Um, yeah, maybe, oh, maybe it was on stream. Oh, this is a good time to plug my stream. Twitch.tv slash ThinkFeature. I try to stream, uh, two or three times a week, but I always do at least once. And anyways, that's not a very good advertiser. Anyhow, um, I took a picture of a spell, which I'll actually open up and show you after. Um, but if you don't remember it and you mess it up, you're kind of just screwed. But that's good, so... <laughs> if you don't remember, um, yeah, good luck with that. So... Um, since it's done perfectly, I think we'll get a duplicate. Um, which means that I can show off what I mean by the effect it has. Oh wait, I just realized something. We can't sell this. Oops, <laughs> I forgot. We can't sell enchanted items. Um, you can sell them to the cat guy. Um, who is not there right now actually because it's not um <laughs> it's not the 12th um the cat guy shows up in the haunted mansion on days that are divisible by three um which is not today okay yeah you don't get duplicates when it's an enchanted item this is one of them um i think this is a little bit of a different spell though 
I'm not sure if it wears off after a while or something. But, um, I'll show you what it does when I go outside. I just realized we're out of stuff for everything, basically, so we're gonna run to the ingredients store right now. Um, and we're going to not go where the cat is telling us to go. No. Um... As you can see by all the sold out signs, this is very much, um, <laughs> needed. We really need to restock the store. Whoops. Um, alright, I wanted to show you guys the effect. Oh, look at the decorations. So if someone leaves the store... Oh, it's brownie. So you see like that? Um, they run up to me. And, um, I think it sometimes works as, like, advertisement for your shop. Or just, like, boost your... Uh, reputation kind of thing but yeah like what it just did with the little like particles around her all right I need, I need ingredients please. um so as you can see there's like a bunch of other stuff for like cooking things but um i'm just gonna do baking like it is milk if I make ice cream, and I always like to buy the chocolate. All right, hopefully that's enough stuff. Hopefully. Uh oh, wait, we needed the jewelry too. So I'm gonna make earrings mostly because I want them myself. Uh, I think these are the heart-shaped ones. Um, my bad if I'm wrong on that. Oh gosh, why is this the most expensive one right now? I mean, I know we're rich, but it still makes me very sad. Okay, sure. Alright. And I think if it doesn't fit in our inventory, it gets sent to the storage at the store. Store- storage? Store- there's a pun there somewhere. Um. Oh, you can't use the broom over here, I forgot. Alright, and then there's the Valentine's Day decor that I said we'd get to look at a bit again. Um, I was gonna say I wonder if they're selling like themed stuff, but it does not seem like it. Alright, so I want to do the baking and then maybe I'll do ice cream as well. Um, oh, I have to, I have to switch to this. Alright, where is... I always forget what category everything's in, and it ends up being <laughs> a bit of a mess. Okay, there we go. So you see, like, uh, based on what one of like these we put in, it changes what thing it is. Um, so last time I baked, um, I think I did the muffin when I meant to do like this. But, um, for this one I think we'll do a cake. And then this pie, but I want to do a cake. Because it looks a little bit, um, I mean, it, it's just like my favorite cake shape. There's this, um, there's this YouTube channel I watch, which is always called, like, it's called, like, Benny's Cake or something. Um... And it is, it's like one of my favorite channels. It just has good vibes. Um, and they just like make like vintage cakes. And it's very nice. Um, and it's, it's funny because I'm not really big on eating cake though. Unless it's like with something. And there's too much of it. Maybe it's just because I don't have like good cake. Usually it's too dry or something. Anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. <laughs> you gotta make the cake. This cutscene is so cute. They're so cute. Look at the cat helping us. Anyways, this one's a step in pretty much all of the recipes. So you just want to do it so that there's some musical notes. Which I'm messing up on. I messed up on a little bit. 
I'm stirring it too fast. Okay, it's probably because I was talking <laughs> while trying to play the game. I can't talk and keep like a rhythm. Anyways, it turned out good though, so that's all that matters. Anyways, this one's pretty uh, simple. You just want to take it out of the oven when it's done cooking, uh, which is actually in red, which really threw me off because I always thought I was like burning it. Um, but no, like I would think it's done like um, like right now, but apparently not. Apparently that's when you're supposed to take it out, <laughs> so I don't know. take it out earlier than that they're like Bleh, that's not good and I'm like oh sorry all right there we go I want it to be like perfect though I don't know how they judge this portion, or if they even do, honestly. Um, I, don't, I really don't know what they think about that. But it looks good to me, so... There we go. And then that's pretty much all for the cake portion. That looks pretty good. Now we're gonna make ice cream! Alright, let's make some ice cream. I think I just said that, but the ice cream mini game is pretty much totally dependent on the um, stirring part of the game. Otherwise, they're just doing this themselves. Shut up so I do it right. Alright, there we go. Perfect. Hopefully. Yes, I think it is. Okay. Now we got some. We got some ice cream. Ooh, it's blue. That's, I mean, I put a blueberry in it. <laughs> so I don't know why that's surprising me. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, this one looks nice. Okay, so since the holder's blue, I'm going to put this. Perfect. I used to work at an ice cream shop, but we never made the ice cream there. Alright, I'm trying to center it like per pixel perfect. That looks pretty good. It does look good. Let's go. Normally when I make it, um, the color is like super desaturated or they're just like very similar colors. So this one looks pretty good. Nice. Um, and there's a lot more food recipes. Like we saw all the possibilities when I was about to make the cake one. Um, but uh, I don't have that much space in my store right now. Um, so I'm not going to make too, too much. 
You can also like give it um, gift stuff to the, your uh, classmates. All right, it seems like it's all in place. Um, and I'm actually, you know what, I'm just gonna make these for myself. We already have extra like earrings and stuff in the storage that I still have to sell. So I'm just gonna make these for me and not worry too much about it. I feel like jewelry is the thing I make most often when I do craft in the videos. Um, and it's because it sells for the most. Probably because it's very expensive to make. Um, so, you know, that was actually pretty fitting for Valentine's Day. The heart and stuff. I'm just gonna alternate between red and yellow. <coughs> yeah, but that was not a gainer moment. Alright, so hopefully that's fine. Um, but I don't think the tiny crystals show up when they're like on the player model, like when you're wearing them. So that bit doesn't matter too, too much. And this part, I'm probably going to mute myself because I have to aggressively scrub the crystals. Let's go. There we go. Hopefully that's good enough, but I have a feeling it's probably not. <laughs> So they're okay. Not, um, not as the best they could be, like the ice cream was, but it seems like they're good. Anyways, um, I think we've made something from every category. Well, not almost. I mean, there's obviously other stuff. Like, we could make like jewelry boxes, and we could make like um, crowns, and we can make the perfumes and stuff, but one from each. Also, I think I just told him to put it in storage on accident because <laughs> I was just hitting the B button. Um, let's go get that out of there. Because I want to wear those. And which outfit do I throw them on? I think this is just my. Yeah. Is that too much for that? I mean, that's kind of cute though. Mm, yeah. So, restocking the store is the first option when we talk to this little buddy here. If I can. Okay. Hello. And we have to kick out all the customers, but that's fine. Because now we can restock, and that's important. <laughs> Very. Alright. So I'm gonna put some ice cream in the window. That dress is really not selling well. was left of this one. Ooh. I mean, let's run a sale on it. I think that's good. Maybe we'll get rid of it faster if we lower the price a little. Um, and then this one's been here for ages and it's kind of ugly so I can understand why no one's bought it. Put the flowers in the window because I feel like they'll sell because Valentine's Day. I think the, this is one of the more expensive bouquets you can make because it has the candy flowers in it. And then over here, put the cake there. <laughs> it's kind of funny having the um, jewelry, like, uh, <laughs> and then just the baked goods next to it. Perfect. 
Alright. I guess I'll actually hang on to the crown a little bit longer. Um, oh yeah, and I was gonna show you, you can't like sell this. Yeah, see I put it down, but it's just like normal. Unless I'm doing something wrong, I don't think you can sell magic items. Anyways, um, when it's all good, we talk to the cat. Alright, and now the customers come back in, and hopefully these uh, clothes sell better. I like how there's, um, in the back, there's just more expensive versions of this. This, uh, this strawberry dress, um, I think it's kind of cute, but it's been here for like maybe like several months now um so yeah i'm really hoping this stuff sells because it's on sale now <laughs> well not on sale but i just lowered the price and attempt to get it out of the store <laughs> you can actually just remove them but i'd like to make some money all right now the ice cream and the flowers are in the window so hopefully they buy and the back of my mall is empty, uh, cause you're supposed to get it from a street pass. You can buy them from Play- with the- not from Play Queens, with Play Queens you can buy some, uh, more randomized stores. But right now I just have the classmate stores. And, uh, actually these are open pretty much 24-7. Which is nice. Um, you know what, actually, yeah, let's go in one go in the fashion store and see if they have anything good in there. They never close, which is nice, because even if you play really late, you can still buy stuff. It's more expensive than the default, like, main stores, though. I don't know if there's anything in here I really want, because I can make this stuff myself. Anyways, I think that's probably going to be it, because I have a lot of stuff to cut out. Is that corn? Hey, are you... <laughs> Seems like it. Oh, sorry. Okay, anyways. Alright, thank you very much for watching. And have a fantastic day. Oh, that's so fitting. The heart character came out. Anyways, yeah. Bye.